Earlier this week, I talked to you about three keys to connecting with spirit. And now I just want to dive a little deeper. Number one, get intentional. Number two, get quiet. And number three, get community. So let's talk about that for a minute. Get intentional. What does that even mean? What does it mean to connect to spirit? Who is spirit? Why would you want to connect to spirit anyways? Questions inquiring minds want to know. I have found out that meditation and rest, some of the things I've talked about lately, learning a little bit more about ourselves, our ancestry, where we come from, who we are, these things are all crucial to creating the world that we might all want to see together, which is one where everyone is cared for and able to live their fullest and best life. The first key is us getting our work done on ourselves, on the inside, right? So that we can have great, productive, healthy, fantastic, conducive relationships with each other and with our planet as well. Because right now, you guys, we are killing each other, we are mistreating each other, and we are doing the same to our planet, okay? The more that you can be intentional about what it is you want to get from spirit, what it is you want to give to spirit, and what it is you want to be in communion with spirit, uh, the better it's going to be for you. I highly recommend looking into the spirituality of your ancestors, you know, what did you grow up learning and doing in terms of connecting to spirit? And if you don't have any practices or don't know at all how to connect to spirit, please drop your name below, leave me your email address. I'd love to get in touch with you and talk to you about specific ways that you can intentionally connect with spirit. But number two is get quiet. So if you don't know any really specific ways, you don't have any rituals, you don't have any religions, you don't have any spiritual background, then get quiet. All right, I love the app Calm. They have a lot of great uh, guided meditations on there if you need a little help, which sometimes I do. And it will just guide you through the process of kind of like learning how to get quiet, learning how to hear yourself, hear your breath, connect with who you are on this physical planet and get in the present of being like I talked about last week, all right? So the Calm app is great for that. But even just to be able to get quiet, go into a quiet space and be quiet. And this is not related to praying or telling God or the spirit what it is you want. This isn't about throwing out requests. This is about shutting down, being quiet, focusing in on your breath, focusing in on the movement of blood through your body, etc. All right, so be quiet. If you know nothing else, but you can learn to be quiet, trust me, you can learn to hear spirit and to connect with spirit well, because spirit can come to a quiet mind. All right. Uh, there's layers to that. And I know your minds might not be quiet. So don't forget if you need therapy too, that that's another great option. But the third point was to get community, right? Whatever type of um, spirituality or religion that might work for you to get connected to spirit is okay. As long as it's not a cult, right? We don't need you drinking any Kool-Aid uh, or anything like that, right? But uh, if you are feeling that it is truly helping you connect to spirit, it appears to be legitimate, they're not asking you to leave your family and friends behind and your loved ones behind, etc. Um, then any community that you get with is good. So a lot of people think like, I don't like the church because I left church some years ago. I love the church. Are you kidding? I love people in the church. I have a lot of friends in uh, a variety of types of churches that I love and respect. Um, I don't choose to go to church myself, that type of church anymore, because it's a disconnect for me personally on my spiritual journey, right? And so that's okay. But I have a different type of community that is dedicated to connecting with spirit in the way that we connect with spirit, all right? So getting with community is important because kind of the essence of spirit is that we are connected to one another, right? That's kind of the whole point. Uh, I heard a good analogy the other day of how, you know, oftentimes we think about spirit, and this is from a great book, Conversations with God. I highly recommend it. It's an old school book, right? Um, uh, Neil Donald Walsh is the author. But what he talked about was how spirit, we, we, we discuss how spirit inhabits our body, right? And I've been guilty of saying this myself, spirit inhabits our body. But when in actuality, spirit kind of envelops our body, right? The spirit that is Bridget, it envelops 
my body. My body is a part of that, a part of how it moves through the world, right? But it is greater than just this being, this physical being here, right? So when you think about that, then you realize that, oh, okay, so if it envelops me, if spirit goes all the way around me, then my spirit is also, or spirit is what connects and hits and bumps into other people around me. Or maybe spirit is connected to my energy and my energy is connecting and bumping into other energies around me and the frequencies of the other people around me. So get in community with people who are trying to be like-minded in terms of their connection to spirit because the truth is other energies are going to affect yours unless your energy affects theirs. All right. And the more you get connected to spirit, the more you will have the, the depth of um, access to the energy that you want to put out into the world. And the more depth you have, the more energy you'll have, the more strength your energy will have, and the more that your energy will be able to shift the energy around you. So I just wanted you to know that I love you so much. Get connected with spirit. And if you don't know how, drop your name below. I want to connect with you. I want to talk about it further. Let's figure out if we need to practice together. I love you.